Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. I uh, want to start. <coughs> want to start the new year out with my thoughts on uh, Jerusalem, Israel, and the Muslims. I know for some it can be a very touchy subject. Some get plum upset. But the Muslims will get over it. You know, there's a big deal right now about President Trump having our uh, embassy. Couldn't even think of it for a minute having our embassy move to Jerusalem because everybody says that means that he is declaring Jerusalem the capital of Israel that Jerusalem must belong to Israel and what about the Palestine state of course now that's where politics start doing a back paddle. I won't. Y'all know me. No sugar added. I'm going to tell you how I see it. And it's this is going to be a very short video because it's pretty cut and dry to me. It's real simple. If you read your Bible there's a few facts you need to remember. One is that Jerusalem and Israel was mentioned a whole bunch of times in the Bible. The Jewish people, Israel, has been God's declared people pretty much since the beginning. Cut and dry. Now that's, that's just facts. Now to me, the Bible is about the oldest history book there is. And yeah, I know there's those that argue with it. I don't want to hear it. Uh, <coughs> the non-believers are going to tell you how all of the Bible was made up for political gain, for power struggle, and all this. I don't buy it. The Bible's got too much documented history to it for it to have gone like that. The Bible has foretold too many things, such as the coming of Jesus and a whole bunch other. And the more that the world tries to prove the Bible wrong, the more they prove that it was correct and that it ain't just a made up book so now there's your pedigree for Israel the Jewish people and Israel what better pedigree can you get now according to the research uh the history of Christianity, Christianity, boy, I can talk good tonight, concerns the Christian religion, Christendom, and the church with its various denominations from the first century to the present. The first century. And I ain't going to read all this. You do your own research. Now then. For the other one that's hollering its thirst, the history of Islam concerns the polit political, economic, social, and culture, cultural development of the Islamic civilization. Despite concerns about, and this real small print is why I'm struggling with it, 
despite concerns about the reliability of earlier sources, most historians believe that Islam originated in Mecca and Malaya at the start of the 7th century. Six centuries difference there. That's more than a week or two. Huh. So now if you have a country that God claims is his, is his holy people. Hold on a second. Let me call you back in a minute, baby. Bye. Uh, God is claiming that they're his people. It's his country. It's mentioned in the Bible how many times? And you compare that to the Muslims that is never mentioned in the Bible. Not even once. And they got started six centuries later. The beginning of the seventh. Who do you think Jerusalem belongs to? I think it belongs to the Jewish people. It belongs to Israel. I'm not going to go into bad mouthing the Muslims and all that other than to say that they came too late to recess and the ball is not theirs. They don't just get to take the ball and start calling the rules. That's how it should be. As for our country, moving our embassy to Jerusalem, I'm all for it. If that declares to the rest of the world that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, I'm fine with that because it is. It always has been, and it always shall be. That being said, yes, the Muslims with their hate-filled banner and their destructive ways, yeah, they're going to tear more stuff up. They're going to blow up the wall. But as one of my Christian's friends said in one of the groups that I'm a member of, the Bible tells it how it ends, and it can only end one way. And guess who's not the favored party? That's the simple facts according to a simple man. The Lord called it first, not me. Y'all remember, God loves you, and so do I. Y'all have a blessed evening now. Good night.